everybody. You are getting two lives in like the span of a couple hours. We're cooking eggs. So I thought I would hop on here because the question that I just got was, hey, I, well, actually, it's kind of a question that I get all day long. But the question was, do you always eat organic? Like, do you always eat the most perfect foods? And I think I get this question every day, but how do I restart? I'm super overwhelmed. So I just shared on my stories that everybody should own an air fryer because my sausages are done. But we, well, we're almost on intermittent fasting. I don't intermittent fast every single day, but to be real with you, I only did today because I just have been go, go, go this morning. So I'm making some eggs, but I wanted to show you something. If you looked at my eggs, you would see some that are more organic and some that are not. Some that are from Walmart and some that are a free range egg. So the question was, do we always eat organic and perfect? And the answer is no. I have not gotten ready today. <laughs> and here's what I wanna tell you. If you're going for perfect, here I'll show, I think I can show you that I, here's my eggs. You can see, take a guess at which ones are organic and which ones are not. The darker colored yolks are the free range organic eggs. The lighter color yolks are from Walmart. And that's okay. So the reason I say that is because oftentimes people expect or wait for the perfect time. They have their refrigerator cleaned out, the perfect, and there really isn't a perfect. Of course, who wouldn't love to eat, always eat organic free range eggs, but sometimes that's just not the case. And depends on where you live, depends on the environment. Do you own your own chickens? I don't. Right now I'm looking out at 18 feet of snow. So, and we don't have chickens, but we have fish. So I just wanted to address that because if you're waiting for the perfect time, there's not a perfect time, but you can keep it simple. So I just had a great conversation with a girl just before this and she was like, man, I did this three years ago. Well, actually her question to me was, hey, I followed you three years ago and are you still drinking ketones and I need to get back on track because what happens if you expect perfection and you come up against a roadblock and you mess up one day, it's going to be easy for you to give up. So my daughter gave you the example on, if you watched our stories earlier, it's no different than I often share things like homeschooling or different, different just like what our family does, but I feel like it ties into anything because if you're watching somebody for perfection, you're probably not gonna do anything. So she shared, she had, a, she had a pretty big struggle with math last week. We took a step back. I actually was considering doing a completely different homeschool curriculum. And we said, you know what? We're gonna skip that lesson and move on. And sorry, those are my dogs, and see if it helps. And it did. She just did her assignment for the first time today we have four dogs, by the way. She just did her assignment for the first time today and got 100%, and I think I helped her with two things because she didn't quit, right? She got back up. She was frustrated last week. We took a step back, reevaluated, and then restarted. You will not fail if you don't quit. Same concept, whether it's in school or work or relationships, homeschooling, or your food. Same thing with making, feel like you have to have everything perfect. You're not going to. So I'm going to eat my Walmart eggs and I'm going to eat my free range eggs and I'm going to enjoy all of them. And when you can choose better, awesome. But when you can't, if you are at the office, if you're at, you know, on the go and you have to go through McDonald's, take the bun off the burger. Don't starve yourself. You didn't prep for today, but it's a better option. It is a better option. I'm so sick of people making other people feel bad because they might be in other keto groups or something happens to where there's not perfection. You're not gonna get that. But if you can stick with the buns off the burgers and the croutons off the salad or a lettuce wrap or, you know what? It is what it is, I'm gonna do the best that I can. You're going to have a long-term lifestyle success because you're okay with not messing up good for perfect and choosing the best options in the moment that you're at. I'll give you an example. Well, I hope that's helped. I gotta switch my air. So who, first of all, who owns an air fryer? Because if you do not own an air fryer, you should. Because they're amazing. 
So I'm making sausage and eggs in the air fryer. And for those of you who are like, which air fryer do you have? I have one from Costco. It's just the black one on the shelf. One from Amazon. It's a square one. They all work the same. I mean, there's some bigger ones, smaller ones, doesn't matter. But they're super helpful. So if, there are, if you're like, oh my goodness, I just need some things to help me along the way. Of course, there's things that you can use. An air fryer is one of them. Every single morning, if you are not intermittent fasting, right? Throw some sausage in the air fryer for you and your kids and on the way you go. Or always having a water bottle with you at all times. Why? Because this keeps, if you always, we have glasses and water bottles all over our house. It keeps it in the forefront of your mind. You are going to drink more water, figure out if you like to drink out of a straw or a certain bottle. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't mess up good for perfect, but keep it in front of you so that you see it. There are things that can help you along the way, right? So every Sunday I'm like, time to prep for your week. But if you didn't, make the better choice where you at today, where you are at today on a Thursday. For those of you who are in business, I have the opportunity, I am blessed with an incredible team, right? A lot of them watch. So a lot of you won't do things if you don't even look perfect, right? So I clearly have not showered, or maybe I usually look like this, and you're like, Stephanie, why do you get on camera? You're so beautiful. <laughs> and that is my husband. Um, if you are in any way, shape, or form doing the business with me or anything online, but you don't take action, then you are going to get the results of not taking action. It doesn't matter what it is. I am going to show you that I'm completely real. If I showed you my whole house right now, it's not messy, it's lived in. There's toys and tons of homeschool stuff, water bottles and breakfast and my supper that's going to be prepped, which we're going to have chili. It is what it is. So like I would love to say, it doesn't matter where you're at, whatever you're working on, don't mess up good for perfect and take action. I talked about that this morning. If you wanna read a great book, it's called Rain or Shine. I read it to you this morning, go watch the other live. But it basically was saying you have to make the decision and then you have to take action. So I'll give you an example and then I'm going to let you go because my eggs are waiting for me to eat them. Um, my daughter has been wanting to learn Spanish. She's sitting over here reading a great book. And I did not give her, what is that? And I did not give her a Spanish curriculum, but she decided she was going to learn Spanish she took the action and she went and found something that she wanted and she's got like five pages of notes and she's like this makes sense i figured i found something and i'm going to be speaking spanish by the end of the year she took action without me giving her any directive and she decided to do it because she made the decision so what decision do you have to make to end the month strong maybe you have to actually start maybe you need to purchase some things to help create some systems in your home like an air fryer or making sure you find the water bottle that you know that you're going to drink the water out of. I think they're done. You can bring them over here. Whatever it is, the habits that you're going to create over time will keep your lifestyle moving forward or the decisions that you make today, you have to take the next action step to get it to where you want to go. I don't even know if that made sense, but I was super proud of her because she's like, I'm going to do it. I'm learning. I was like, awesome. Your notes look great. Are you learning something? Yes. She shared what she is learning because she decided that's what she's going to do. So what do you have to decide to do moving forward? What is it? Share, share below. And we're going to go eat our half organic, half not organic sausage and eggs because that's what we're having. But that's it. So if you have questions, please reach out. We are here to help, whether it's about food ideas or lifestyle or ketones. One of the girls said, hey, I've been following you for three years, the same girl that I was coaching on food today. And she was like, um, are you still drinking ketones? Because you seem to be sharing lots of stuff. I just took a poll. I was like, yeah, on my stories, I've been sharing more than just keto stuff because there's... There's a lot of people that ask me homeschool questions. There's a lot of people that ask parenting stuff or anything. So if you follow me on my stories, you're going to see a lot more than just keto stuff, but I'll still, still share recipes and things with you. Um, but I said, yeah, I'm just as excited about drinking ketones today 
as I was almost six years ago, probably more because I just feel great. And the reason I am here today is because I drink ketones. So if you have not tried our uh, challenge kit, or if you want to know more about my mom fuel, just post five below and we will chat. Otherwise, always reach out with your questions. Continue to tune in. We're here to help. And here's my question. Well, I think I've asked you a lot of questions, but what are you having for lunch? And the reason I ask, I'm going to share a different recipe in just a little bit of something that you can make later on. But the reason I ask you is so that you can give other people ideas. So do you have an idea of what you're making for lunch? We're eating a little bit early. Um, but what are you making? Because people can scroll through and see some different ideas and it maybe will just give them a new recipe to try or going, oh, I have not had that in a while. So always share what you're having below so that it gives other people ideas. If you post five below, we'll chat about my mom fuel and that's it. Reach out. I'm here to help. I hope you guys have an absolutely incredible day and we'll talk to you soon.